Mohammed defends Harry's too much leading to persecution. Who is losing safety? Hello, friends. Welcome to breaking news of Harry and Meghan's UK accomplices on our Kate Middleton and the Queen News version 2 channel. An amateur royal author is being persecuted after making a shocking statement on Yahoo News. Omid Scobie, the accomplice of Harry and Meghan, defended his master so openly that it caused a stir in public opinion. Speaking on Yahoo News, he said, The Sussexes are still in dire need of the protection of the British government. Security is a necessity and cannot be reduced. This accomplice is referring to the notorious security case of traitor Harry. Hundreds of people jumped to beat Omid with this series of thoughtless statements. A royal audience said, Omid has certainly received a lot of money from Harry and Meghan. He has eaten enough of his breakfast and then sat down to write the unacceptable things about traitors. I suspect Omid has a side job that is working as a PR agent for Meghan. He definitely signed with Archwell and started his first job on Yahoo News. People call Omid a loser and no witness. He adopted Meghan as his royal master and pursued her notorious betrayal. It is clear that suspicions about the potential connection between these two people are completely out of the question. One expert said, I've heard from some people that Meghan gave him a bunch of money to carry out a spy mission. He will give her all the information about the royal family. Now he has taken on one more position, that of PR staff. It is true that a couple of close friends in the trader industry. Omid mentioned Harry asking to be paid for his security expenses. He said this was a matter of the owner's discretion. It's despicable. Obviously, Omid is not doing the responsibility of a professional PR person. He should have looked into the progress of the security legal battle. A few months ago, a lawyer for the British government denied Harry's testimony about the security payment offer. They considered this act to be a terrible defamation of the kingdom. Harry is not knowing how to measure himself in this fight. He's upsetting the kingdom's legal rules. One royal author stated, Omid didn't understand the rush to protect his master. He is suffering tragic consequences for his impulsiveness. Too reckless. I bet he'll get tons of hate from the public, just like Harry. Omid has a chance to build a 16-bathroom mansion just like the owner. In terms of the security war, the royal audience insisted that they would never pay taxes if the money was provided to Harry and Meghan. One insider said, The royal family has used sparingly the money we contribute. If I remember correctly, Charles was looking to cut these costs by downsizing the royal apparatus. We are willing to contribute and sponsor members of the royal family, but not Harry and Meghan. Obviously, they are no longer members of the royal family. Why are they demanding privileges from the nation? It's absurd. The British people were generous to Harry and Meghan during their first royal return. The Queen used the Royal Land Rover to go to the airport to pick up Harry and his family. Although some people are still harsh at the Queen's overprotective actions, they have kept their mouths shut to reinforce the Queen's platinum celebration. Some people say, Harry and his family are parasites. They weren't supposed to use any form of security. The queen was too special for them, but ignorance was the most condemnable. After Harry and Meghan enjoyed the queen's security privileges, they not only did not thank them, but grudgingly filed a second lawsuit against the British government. Just a day after Meghan's abominable birthday, a drunken Harry filed a lawsuit in a British court to accuse the Home Office of taking away his security privileges. It was shameless. Harry was locking himself in the royal iron frame. He deserves to be sent to prison so as not to cause any more disturbances. 
The extent of Harry's danger was beyond the limits of royal tolerance. He even dragged his ally Omid into riot to England. This is unacceptable. It is said that Omid copied Meghan's infamous personality too quickly after exaggerating the danger of her master. He said, Harry, Meghan, and their two children have faced many dangerous threats before returning to the royal family in June. However, they forsook everything to celebrate the big day with the Queen. Omid deserves a slap after making this rotten statement. Do you see any danger around Harry and Meghan? Are the royal parasites screaming in delight themselves? Apparently, they were heavily protected by a hybrid security system that the Queen had given them. They are restricted from appearing in public to preserve their lives. Royal fans say that the Queen was too lenient and forgiving in deciding to protect Harry after all the trouble he brought. But in the end, what? Neither he nor his ignorant wife say thank you to the Queen. On the contrary, they also accused her of not doing a good job as a grandmother. It's too much. Observers commented, Harry and Meghan took it upon themselves to celebrate the Queen's platinum. They restricted themselves from interacting with the royal family to make themselves isolated. Then they used an excuse to accuse the royal family of snubbing them. Royal fans have come to understand Harry and Meghan's dirty nature all too well. They warn Omid of an uncertain future when they decide to follow the notorious traitor. They say, Omid should have kept his mouth shut to save his life. The new book should also be destroyed before his hands are burned. The royal war was not a tool for Omid to become famous. He's overestimated the British monarchy. Obviously, in this game, Omid is just a pawn for Harry and Meghan. They took advantage of Omid to stir up the media and increase their influence. Royal fans said, Foolish Omid doesn't know he's in danger. It was thought that Harry and Meghan would bring him a great bargain, but in fact, they threw him into the fire of public opinion. Omid should be more alert to realize the problem he's facing before it's too late. What do you think about Omid blindly defending Harry and Meghan? What will his future look like as he stands shoulder to shoulder with these notorious traitors? Let us know your thoughts below in the comment section. We hope you found this video helpful. Don't forget to leave a like, share, and subscribe to the channel if you like it. Thank you for watching this newsletter. See you in the next videos. Goodbye.